All right, hello, TechCrunch Disrupt. We were just ripped from downstairs and put on stage in front of you. So we're here to show the Voxy Box. I don't know, by a show of hands, have anybody been downstairs to see this in person at the Hardware Alley? Not a lot. OK, so after this, please come on down, because it's something you really have to see with your own eyes. Can we get a camera on the display? <clears throat> All right, so what you see here is, uh, well, I'm Sean Keen, and this is Alan Jackson. And our CEO and founder, Sandira Kalviak, is also around here. You'll see her soon. And uh, what you can see is the TechCrunch logo. But what you can't see from there and on that screen is that it's actually three-dimensional. It's the world's first spatial display that's on the market. And what that means is, depending upon where I'm looking, I can see a completely different view. So Alan Jackson uh, has been working on this for the past 30 years, since 1985. Alan, why don't you tell them a little bit about it? Uh, this uh, grew out of a challenge uh, by the uh, New York Hall of Science. They asked me to build a three-dimensional model of an atom. And I said, sure, I can do that. And, uh, and uh, months later, we uh, came up with a prototype. Uh, we demonstrated it. Uh, it went through a process of maybe a year or a year or two of development. Yep. And we finally got a, th a three-dimensional model of an atom up and running at the Hall of Science in uh, 1986. And we met each other um, around 2010 when the Kinect came out, because um, I wanted to create holographic videos based on the type of technology that's in the Kinect. Um, but it was too expensive to do that for displays. Um, and I, I found Alan. And we started working together to, with the aim of making it so that everyone could have a true holographic display in their home, every classroom, every workplace. And Sandira is here to uh, tell you more about it. We'll just be running the show behind the scenes here. Hi. You're right over on the X. And also, could we cue the video? Yeah. And I think that you're right on the X there. What you're looking at is a combination of software and hardware. If you're familiar with 3D printing, we're, instead of printing matter, we're printing light at extremely high speed. It's our proprietary algorithm that enables that. Showing 3D was not enough for us. We also wanted to make it interactive. So you can hook up a leap motion, any kind of input, and manipulate the content. Today we're talking to some of our first customers are actually Hollywood folks. They're making 3D movies, uh, and they're very frustrated because there's no display to show them. We're also talking to a space company that's interested in fostering their collaboration between engineers, manipulating parts of their rocket ships. Um, yeah. Okay. Could we get the camera back on the display itself? Um, Sandira mentioned uh, space. We were actually at uh, NASA's annual symposium on advanced research concepts. Um, prior to that, we were invited to SpaceX because it seems that they have a problem um, that they need better tools to be able to visualize um, jet propulsion systems. Um, and so they're looking at new ways where teams can collaborate in a space like this. If we all gathered around here, we could look at the part here, and Sandira would be able to see from a different angle. Mm -hmm. And she might say, well, you know what? This isn't really working out here. We need to make a revision. And live, they can make a revision. Previously, they would have to do rapid prototyping. That might take a whole day to print out a new engine part. But now we can do it instantaneously, switching to the next, um, the next thing. So. Yeah. So we have uh, an SDK available. Uh, for developers who want to produce content for it. Today it takes about five minutes to port a Unity game, if you're in the gaming space. Um, use cases are endless. Um, it's like asking, you know, what do you do with a screen? So we're starting with a variety of, um, of concepts such as, yeah, like I said, a gaming. Um, we have, uh, we are, Oh. Star Wars. Star Wars. We're, oh, yeah. we're a little bit past May the 4th, but uh, if we can get the video back onto the display itself. And again, please come afterwards, come downstairs and see it in person. Um, but we have, obviously, Princess Leia, Star Wars, all that kind of stuff. We make that science fiction real. Um, we, we took fiction out of science fiction. <laughs> 
Um, so we think it's really special, and unlike any other display out there, it's spatial as well. So um, thank you so much for having us here, and uh, we really appreciate TechCrunch, John Biggs, thanks for having us to this event, and we're so happy to be a wildcard. Thank you. Thank you.